Hey, good morning, Buy Me Coffee. Hope you guys are all doing well. I thought it was time to make another video just for you guys. And I was thinking a lot about the video I made last week covering why I took the Yesu VX8DR with me on a trip to the People's Republic. And the reason for it was there were certain features that I wanted, and I wanted a simple all-in-one device that had APRS support. Now, the challenge with a rig like this when it's my primary travel radio is that it's limited in both its capabilities in terms of the antenna and also the power output. Now, to make matters a little bit worse, not worse, but it's another a compromise. I picked up the AA battery tray uh, from HRO, and the difference between the battery tray and the uh, standard lithium ion battery is that this cannot run the full five watts. It only is capable of presenting th to the radio 4.5 volts. And on my meter and per the manual, it says you're only gonna get about 1.5 watts of RF output. So the big question is whether you're dealing with 1.5 watts out or the full five watts on here, what if you have a use case where you want to put more power out there so you could tap the capabilities of this particular radio. Again, this radio is nice because it has APRS and it allows me to do a lot of different things. So I've got a wacky idea I want to share with you guys. Uh, short of getting to higher ground, adding a better antenna, I've got one other experiment I want to share with you guys. Stick around. So what the heck did we just hook up and why? Well, it's a linear amplifier for two meters from RM Italy, and it is the LA145. So it's for two meters. And the reason why I picked this up is because it supports both single sideband and FM. So for FM, it'll work great with the HT, but for my single sideband all mode rig, uh, like my 818, this would be perfect to boost those signals. Now. What's nice about this rig is that it will do up to 80 watts with up to 4 watts of power input. And the Yesu uh, VX8DR actually has four power settings. So according to the manual, we have on low power, uh, 200 milliwatts, 1 watt, 2.5 watts, and 5 watts. So we'll have to stick to the first three power levels for this test. And we'll set up the meter. So the plan here is to go ahead and just key up at level one, two, and three, and see how that presents to the meter. For this experiment, I have the VX8DR. It's on five watts right now. We're gonna back that down in a second. We have the PowerWorks uh, bench power supply here. On the bottom, you'll notice the amperage. And then on the right here, we have a uh, two meter uh, meter to see what our RF power is like. So the first thing we need to do on the VX8DR is turn down the power. And the first power setting is only 200 milliwatts, which is not enough to actually drive this. So you'll see there's no activity in terms of current consumption and the needle is not even moving. So let's go ahead and bring this up to one watt. So we'll hit the uh, function key and then we'll go to level two power. So watch the amperage and watch the meter. So we're drawing 9.2 amps and we're at about 40 watts of RF power output. All right, let's go ahead now and try, what was it, 2.5 watts, and we'll change that. So we're on power level three, and we'll key up, and you notice that we're drawing 11.7 uh, uh, amps of current, and we're just over 60 watts. Now, I don't feel comfortable running five watts on here, but you kind of get the point of what, how we can extend the power output capabilities for this little guy. So I know that two meter amplifiers have been around for a while and this is not new. So the use case is pretty obvious at this point. I, I hope it's obvious that there's the ability to walk around with a very simple HT and then when you need more power, go ahead and boost it. So you could run this in your vehicle, you can run it in the shack and your HT, when you wanna go super lightweight, comes and goes. So as someone who loves his man packs, like my Yesu FTM 6000 man pack, the big difference between these capabilities are I have to carry this entire thing everywhere. Let's say in the vehicle, I want more power from the man pack, but then when I'm walking around, I just want the HT. It would kind of suck to run this with a sling over your shoulder, and I have done that. 
So guys, we're gonna do an experiment. If you wanna help me out and potentially see this new wacky idea come to market, send an email to solutions at armorlock.com. Tell Seth that the tech prepper sent you and that you guys might be interested in him producing a prototype for me for a set of frames for this linear amplifier. So here's a little mock-up. Uh, it's not perfect, but basically imagine here, same size man pack bag as the standard man pack, and imagine a set of frames on either side with relocation mounts here, and we can relocate the SO239 connectors right up to the top to the standard armor lock relocation mounts here. We can also run the battery in the front compartment here. So you saw how much current we were drawing. So a nine amp hour battery uh, would be perfect for this application. And that's in fact the battery that's in here. So we can transition this to the vehicle where we have an antenna feed line just coming into the cab like I've done with the RV. We can go ahead and connect it up to my bench desktop here. So lots of cool capabilities. So anyways, it's a wacky idea, but I just thought, why not be able to have another piece of modular kit that can extend some of the capabilities, but I uh, don't know where my radio is, but you get the point, being able to dismount the actual HT, put it in your, on your belt or wherever, and walk around, and then come back to this rig when you just want to connect it up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video, just a wacky thought, uh, decided to spend eh, a few cycles filming this one. Not much, quality still not great. Appreciate you guys. Uh, where's my coffee? I'm the Tech Prepper, be strong. Be safe and be prepared.